Hi, this is Havoc RC, and this is my latest RC project, an RX switch. So what is an RX switch? An RX switch is a little device that connects to your receiver, and based on the signal read from a specific channel, controls something. And in this case, I have it controlling a transistor, which turns my LEDs on and off. To get started with this project, you're going to need a male-to-male -male servo extension lead. Plug it on an empty channel on your receiver, and plug the following wires to the Arduino ground goes to ground and the signal wire goes to pin 7 on the Arduino. Before you move on make sure that you have power going to your receiver. Now on your radio you will need to program any switch knob or joystick to that empty channel. This could be a throttle input, a switch, or a knob. Download and upload the simple Arduino sketch that I created. Now you will actually be able to see the signal being sent from the transmitter. Flip the switch up and take note of the number. Flip the switch down and take note of that number. You'll notice that one number is low and the other number is quite high. Mine's around 1000 and then the high is around 2000. Now replace the XXX in the code with a number that is halfway between the low and high numbers. Upload this sketch to your Arduino and you're ready to start breadboarding. If you don't have an Arduino and can't do this process, just try out the number 1500. It is now time to breadboard the circuit. On the opposing end of the male to male extension lead, plug in three jumper wires. First place the AT Tiny 85 or 45 in the center of the breadboard, followed by the TIP120 transistor and then the cables coming off of your LED strip. Now for the jumper wires that are connected to your receiver, the power goes to power rail on the breadboard, then ground goes to the ground rail on the breadboard, and the signal goes to pin seven on the AT Tiny. The five volts coming from the receiver is not enough power to drive the 12 volt LEDs, so we will need to use a LiPo for this. The positive wire from the LiPo gets connected to the positive wire from the LED strip, and then negative wire from the LiPo goes to the ground rail on your breadboard. Place a 1K resistor from the base of the transistor to pin 6 on the AT Tiny. Next, run a wire from ground to pin 4 on the AT Tiny. The AT Tiny will run nicely off of 5 volts from the receiver, so plug a wire from the positive rail on the breadboard to pin 8 on the AT Tiny. Connect the emitter of the transistor to ground and the collector to whichever color on the LED strip you would like to power. If you breadboarded everything correctly, the circuit should work fine. Test it out. Now that we are happy with the way this circuit runs, it's time to make it for real. You will need the following parts to make this. I decided to make this circuit as compact as possible, so here's how I'm going to do it. I start by placing a right angle pin header on the very front of the board and then the 8 pin socket right after. Solder down these 3 pins and check to see if the male extension lead fits in. Push the servo extension lead into the pin headers in the opposite way shown in this clip. Leave it in so that you have it for reference. Place the 8 pin socket right after the pin headers and make sure that the notch is facing away from the pin headers. Create a solder bridge from ground to pin 4 on the AT Tiny. Remember that everything is upside down while you're soldering. Make a solder bridge from pin 8 to the middle pin on the pin header. Make another solder bridge from the signal wire to pin 7 on the AT Tiny. everything should look like. Press the two pin screw terminal into the breadboard and solder it down. You may need to snip off the leads as they are quite long. Place the tip 120 transistor facing the two pin terminal on the PCB and bend the collector over towards the pin on the two pin terminal that is closest to the circuit and solder those together.
solder a jumper wire from pin 4 on the ATtiny to the emitter of the transistor. Keep all the leads trimmed and make sure there are no connections shorting out. Place the 1K resistor in the breadboard as shown and solder one end to the base of the transistor. The other end of the 1K resistor gets connected to pin 6 using a small jumper wire. This one might be a little bit tricky. Again, check all your connections and make sure nothing is shorting out. The last component is a 4 piece right angle pin header. Start by soldering all the pins down to the perf board. Extend the ground wire all the way to the very left pin on the pin header. Solder a small jumper from the very right pin on the pin header to the remaining pin on the screw terminal. The hard part is all over now. Now press the AT Tiny into its socket and make sure that the notch is facing towards the transistor. Now screw down the positive and negative wires coming from your LED strips to the corresponding terminals on the screw terminal. If you're unsure which is positive and negative, always use a multimeter. Plug the balance port of your LiPo into the pin header and make sure that the balance port is upside down. That means the two little ridges on the balance port will be facing down. Plug the servo extension lead into the three pins on the top of the circuit. If you're unsure as to which way this goes, look at the picture. The other end of the servo extension lead goes to your receiver and power up the receiver. Now all we have to do is cut the PCB to size and insulate it with some hot glue and electrical tape. Use a generous portion of hot glue to make sure that everything is insulated and there's no chance of shorting out wires. And with that you are all done. Just make sure you remember which pins get plugged in which way. The balance port from the LiPo gets plugged in upside down and the servo extension lead gets plugged in right side up.